folks, welcome back to another daily unboxing with yours truly, Sam Healy. Today, we're going to be opening this little monster right here, Pendragon from GMT Games, part of the Coin Series, Volume 8, uh, The Fall of Roman Britain. So, let's go ahead and uh, tear into this thing a little bit, um, because this is a heavy box. And I'm imagining that there is a heavy game in here, and I don't mean um, just ideolo ideologically. I'm talking, uh, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff as well. So here's the, oh my, here's the rules of play, and here is the play book. What is the play book? Multiple examples of play, non-player orientation, victory descriptions. Now I've seen this being played on, oh my um. okay you know it's been a long time since I looked at one of these GMT games and um, uh, might have been just yesterday that I looked at it at least that's what it feels like because this has not changed at all Okay. Wow. So much in here. Okay, here. Wow, look at all this stuff. All right, here's some counters. All right, so looks like player aids on both sides, it looks like. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Epoch round, battles, okay. Non-player guide summary, guideline summary, okay. So, all right. So we're civitates or civitates. I don't know, Scotty Saxons. Um, all right. So there's a couple of these for each player, I imagine. Well, no, nope, looks like more commands, feats. Yeah. Okay. Then we have this. What is this? This is a very non-player invent instructions okay so we have that and it's double-sided okay a lot of stuff man there's so much non-player civit civitates or whatever non-player scots non-player saxons all right then we have counters counters not a whole lot of counters and these do pop out really well so that's cool that's good production value all right, awesome. And then in a bag, wow, look at all that stuff. Bum, bum, bum. Let's see here. Come on, you can come. All right, so the board open. Man, it's a big board. Let's go ahead and see if we can back out a little bit and uh, get the size of this board. Holy Moses and Aaron. Okay, well, that is the board. And I mean, I am moving it quite a bit. So, I like the design of the board, actually. And I do remember where GMT did not make mounted boards at all. So, that's a cool thing. I know that they've been coming out with them more or less here frequently. But... This is a nice looking board, matter of fact. All right, cool. And it looks like a mound o wooden pieces with, uh, let me just get a handful of these out and take a look at them. There's a lot of different stuff in here. Um, well, that's cool, no stickers, at least I don't think so. So these are neat little pieces, actually. Little fort pieces, I imagine, pawns and stuff like that. So that's cool. Uh, let's put those back in the bag so we don't lose any. Well, these dice look cool, too. Roman numerals on it. That's very cool. I like these dice, man. They're angular, but at the same time, they still have that rounded edge to them. I like that. I like it a lot. All right, then it looks like we have plenty of Ziploc bags for all of your pieces and a couple of decks of cards here. 
Um, let's see. Again, not using a box cutter at all. Look away, folks. Look away. And so we have this coming out and let's tighten in just a little bit so you guys can get a better view of these. All right, winter campaign. All right, these are cool. These look like, you know, historically, you know, based events and that type of stuff, I guess. Battle guards, maybe. Evangelization, <laughs> devastation, acculturation. Hmm. All right, not bad. Um, other sides, all the same. Huh. All righty. Well. Again, I, I know very little about how the game plays. I know I've seen pictures of people playing it, you know. Um, so, ah, wow, I'm, I mean, the, the theme is something, but uh, I just don't know a whole lot about the game other than that, except for the fact that it is in the uh, coin series, and it is uh, probably going to be a heavier game, although the coin series tends to be a little bit lighter than their normal GMT fare, but... Again, you guys saw that rule book and the other books that I was going over. Those things are thick, and they are jam-packed with stuff. So, but uh, the component quality looks great. So that's a really that's a plus, uh, definitely. So uh, that is Pendragon, the Fall of Roman Britain. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Tune in every day for the Dice Tower's daily game unboxing.